So we're making a video on how to wholesale a car and I'm purposely recording this. Look at all the sweat. It takes a lot of work to wholesale cars. So tune into this video. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna do a 2006 BMW 330i in silver. Uh, this will be wholesaled out. You'll figure out exactly why people wholesale, why it happens and why I'm all sweaty right now. So, All right guys, so as you can see, uh, this car right here, it's a 2006 E90, which is a 330i BMW. Uh, you can see there's no check engine lights on the dash, nothing's going on. Uh, but when this car was purchased, it absolutely did have check engine lights on the dash. Uh, but what we did is we ended up repairing those things and we'll discuss those shortly. Um, so what is wholesaling as a car dealer? So essentially you have two options to get a license, which is the retail or the wholesale. Wholesale doesn't allow you to retail and retail allows you to retail and wholesale. So if you're new or getting into the business, it's kind of hard to understand exactly why people would wholesale. Why would you do all this work to just send the car into an auction and you know, just lose out on all that money? So what wholesaling has to do is the ability to buy a car, fix a car, and then flip a car. That's how that all works out. But you can't just buy a car, wash it, and then wholesale it out. That's not the way it works. So this particular car was purchased with a adaptive headlight error. So it had the headlight with a uh, cross through it. It was purchased with uh, bald front tires. The tires were completely destroyed on this thing. And uh, so we put new tires on it. The brakes, brakes and rotors all around were bad. So we replaced those. Uh, what else was done to this thing? Uh, it is super, super, super clean. So you ask yourself, why would you do all that work and not just retail out the car? Well, it's a whole different game. So it, it works completely different. So what you do is you buy a car, fix a car and sell a car, but it's all about doing things quickly. Uh, so this car, I barely purchased it maybe two weeks ago. Uh, oh, we need gas. We got another issue here, guys. So I purchased this car maybe two weeks ago and I got on it, got everything addressed. We got no check engine lights. We've been driving it. Everything's good to go. So what happens after that? So what ends up happening is this car, I list it and register it for auction to be able to sell it. Now, I sell it wholesale. Again, why would you sell it wholesale? Well, number one, I purchased it with a bunch of issues. I got went through the car, I know how to repair cars myself, and uh, essentially I fixed all those issues and now this car is ready to retail out to a dealer. Now, as a dealer, you wanna purchase the cars as clean as possible because the maintenance costs will be a lot less for you and then you get to flip out that car for retail money without spending a lot of time dedicating a lot of time into a car. So. Whoever purchases this car at the auction uh, is going to get a good quality car. Now, everything is sold as is. It's a risk you take out as a dealer, but when I sell things, I try to eliminate any kind of obstacle that another dealer may have. So this car is going to get wholesale uh, out here on Wednesday, which is uh, four days away. So uh, let me give you a walk through the car. Let me uh, show it off to you, uh, show you exactly what it looks like. And uh, I wish I had uh, content of what this car looked like before it looks like this. So uh, yeah, let's pull over. Let me uh, show you guys exactly what's going on and uh, we'll make it happen. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm a used car dealer here in Southern California. I'm always getting into something and I work seven days a week, 16 hour days. It's, it's bananas, it's insane. So. so as a wholesaler, you have to purchase the car correctly. Now, this particular car has either one or two owners. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I usually don't buy anything uh, more than two owners. Uh, it was a Tesla trade-in, which means someone purchased the Tesla, traded in this car, which means the person that owned this car previously, it's a good indicator that they might've had a little bit of money to do and keep up with repairs on the car. Another thing, uh, registration stickers, current, um, but it had a check engine light and adaptive headlight failure or malfunction. Uh, after that, we scanned the car to see exactly what the check engine light was on for. And there was like a slew of things going on, which we checked out 
uh, we ended up erasing everything. Uh, the battery itself was never adapted or programmed to this car, so it's causing a lot of issues. And then on top of all that, it needed a Bank 2 upstream uh, O2 sensor, which I made a DIY uh, recently and I posted that online, so it's there. Um, and then other than that, the car's perfect. I've been driving it around now, putting uh, a good amount of miles and everything on it. And as you can see, like I said, everything's very, very clean about this car. So everything was fixed, addressed, and now it's ready to be wholesaled out because everything is done very quickly. Bing, 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 done. I don't have to worry about selling it to a client. I don't have to worry about doing much to this car besides auctioning it off, selling it wholesale to somebody. And then at that point, um, the dealer that purchases it has a lot less maintenance or a lot less things to do with this car. Oh, on top of that, uh, brakes and rotors were done all the way around. Um, what else? Oh, new tires on the front were done. Um, and I think that's about it. It was just filthy, filthy, filthy. So we uh, cleaned everything up, we got it all addressed, and now it's ready to go. Oh, the AC didn't work either. So we got the AC replaced. Now remember, I do all that stuff like just myself. I get down on it and then uh, get it done. So that's what we did. Now this car's ready to wholesale out and it's good to go. Hopefully you guys are understanding some of this game. And then why do we drive these cars after we do the repairs? Well, number one, we want to make sure that the repairs were done correctly. The car is smooth, things like that. Uh, that's where we're at. We're driving. You can see no check engine lights. Everything is good to go and we're just moving. Now, you guys are gonna ask me why I was all sweaty. Well, guess what? I just finished detailing this car. So it is tough, tough work and you bust your ass when you're doing it. That means you're breaking a sweat, you're doing everything. And when you're wholesaling, the best way to make money is when you're doing the work yourself or if you have people that uh, understand the dynamics of the situation are and are willing to assist in wholesaling cars out and then you guys do your thing right but for me i know a lot about cars and we take care of what we can and uh i've been wrenching since i've been very very young so um there goes the 330i it's right there behind me uh so i guess we should talk this way so again this car just got detailed exterior interior and that's the way i'm wholesaling it out so again today is friday it's going to be out uh sold 100 percent uh on wednesday so that's what's happening there and we programmed the battery because there was a battery uh, error issue had a check engine light for upstream uh i'm sorry bank two um sensor one which is the upstream sensor on the bmw um it had an adaptive headlight uh error message so we put new uh, adaptive headlight uh sensors in which is controls the motor essentially so that's all good that's all being cleared out uh what else was done uh, uh like i mentioned brakes all the way around front tires things like that so um i don't think i'm really missing anything um besides guys this thing was like like just filthy like filthy filthy when I got it so everything looks really good now it's gonna get turned into whoever the new owner is and then they'll have minimal minimal things to do and uh, and hopefully they'll make money quickly as well and uh, like I said this is about volume and pushing out cars quickly that's how you wholesale cars and uh, that's pretty much what's being done here I'm just a one-man show one-man team so I can't do it as quick as other people but here from time to time I'm wholesaling cars as well making a quick buck make an extra buck along with my regular retail uh dealer license so let me uh show you this car let me give you guys a quick walk around and uh we'll end this video here So again, guys, that's what uh, what we're looking like. Um, I like to deliver a vehicle as clean as possible. That way it could be inspected right there uh, on the lot forever uh, for whoever chooses to check it all out. But uh, let me actually show you the, uh, the interior as well. So this is a 06, this is a 330i. Um, the 330i was only made in 2006. It's sought after. This is the type of cars that I uh, enjoy purchasing and selling. And then the uh, interior, let's see if I give you a little, nah, the wide angle doesn't look that great, does it? Oh, ah, let me do just, uh, 
So that's what we're looking at there on the interior. Actually, let me uh, unlock it. And then the, uh, the rear of the car. And so as you can see, everything looks really nice. And then the uh, trunk, well, it's got some bags and stuff, but it's very clean. So that's where we're at. And uh, that's what we do. That's what we do, guys. Again, I haven't owned this car that long, but uh, I addressed everything that the computer scanned and uh, picked up. And now it's uh, ready to go out and be sold to the next person. All right, guys, so I hope you learned uh, enough about wholesale vehicles and what it all entails. And, you know, you can do things very nice. You can do things um, not so nice. Just all depends. It depends where your cash flow is at, where your money's at, what your tolerance levels are. Um, and that's pretty much it. So and, and then your knowledge too. your knowledge. If you can repair cars, if you can repair cars yourself, then you're usually pretty golden. Uh, it's just hard work. It's hard work. It's dedication and you got to grind every single day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. I own a used car dealer here in Southern California, of course. Uh, but let's get on to the next video. And uh, we're just, we're out of here, guys. So that'll be the last time we uh, see it. We're getting dropped off in the X1 and this car will officially be wholesaled off. So. All right, what's up guys? So it's early in the morning. Uh, we're dropping off the E90 to actually wholesale this out. Um, so this car will be long gone uh, forever by Wednesday. That's when the uh, the wholesale actually takes place so um, we're about to pull up right here and uh, get the entire thing done get the car uh, checked in it's already registered all that good stuff get a lane number get a run number and then uh, we say sayonara so um, with that being said here we're literally about to uh, pull into the establishment here momentarily and I'll get a video of it uh, getting checked in and everything all right, here we go, guys. We're uh, pulling into the venue. We're gonna go to the very back of the lot. So we're getting it right now. They're intaking it and we'll drive this thing up here shortly. They have a camera over here that uh, it essentially records the underside of your car to make sure everything is intact. That way people can see what they're buying when they're uh, internet bidders. So 